According to our beauty expert, Michelle Phillips, you don't have to max out your credit card to get good skin care products. The tough part, though, is figuring out which of those many skin care products actually deliver results. This is kind of a carryover from last week's yes. segment, right? We talked makeup and yep. how to save on makeup. I'm glad we're talking skincare because that's one of the most important. Yes, and a lot of viewers and friends of mine, they reach out and say, what should I buy? This is what I'm looking for. This is what I need help with. And so yep. I try to direct them to the most affordable products. And then you can spend more if you need to for specific target areas on your skin. So I brought along the ones that I think are good. I like this. And there's some that I recognize and hopefully you recognize as well yeah. at home. So <laughs> let's go ahead. I think we're starting with washing first, right? Yeah. Cleansing. Well, basically I wanted to talk about hyaluronic acid. So a lot of people say, oh, that doesn't sound good to put on your skin. But <laughs> hyaluronic acid, think of it as like a sponge. And what it does is it draws moisture to your skin because we naturally have hyaluronic acid in our skin. But as we age, everything starts to go down in terms uh -huh. of the amount that we have in our skin. So I always look for products that incorporate hyaluronic acid as well as ceramides because these are the building blocks and the foundation of your skin as well. So if you can find products that have hyaluronic acid in them, make sure you pick that up because that will really help plump and moisturize your skin. So it's really, really important what we're going to talk about today is ingredients and what to look at when you read the label. So pay attention to the labels, not just the promo on the box. Okay, that was gonna be my question. Yeah. Because when I feel like something on the front will say, it talks about the, uh, some of the things you just mentioned here, okay? Yep. These things, when I look on the back, sometimes I like, and I'm not saying this one specifically, but I don't uh -huh. see those words. Do they use yes. different words or like, the ingredients just confuse me. Michelle, yeah, and sometimes, I mean, I really think it's good to investigate. If you're not sure what it is, and you've got your phone with you, look up what those ingredients okay. are, because also you wanna make sure that you're avoiding anything that's damaging, like parabens and, and different things that are toxic to our bodies. Mineral oil, I found on a lot of these ingredients, because when I went to the drugstore, I was for 20 minutes in the aisles looking at products going, okay you know what does this have in it do yeah. I want this on my skin and so that's why I really want you guys to read the labels and if you look at the label the products that they have the most ingredients will be the first listed so for example okay like so when you're going to buy aloe you want to make sure that the first two ingredients is water or aloe like not all these other okay. ingredients. So look at the first ones. Those are the yeah, keys. Those okay. are the keys to look at. And then the next thing you want to look at is vitamin C. And vitamin C to me is one of the most important ingredients to have in any of our skincare products because it really does help. It's a powerful antioxidant. It helps repair against sun damage. It helps brighten the skin. If you have skin discoloration, it helps um, with collagen production. I mean, there's so many great benefits. Vitamin I C. even have my young girls in their 20s on my daughters on vitamin C and also helps with acne. So real quick, what does vitamin say? What is the ingredient vitamin C? Does it actually say vitamin C yes, on the back or, or is there it another sell, ingredient? It also can say L-scorbic acid. That's what So we need. look up different, yeah, okay. definitely Google and search the ingredients. The other thing is retinol. I mean, I have a friend who's a dermatologist who said if I was stranded on a desert island, I had one anti-aging product that I would keep with me, it would be retinol. It's derived from vitamin A. It actually helps speed up the exfoliation process in your skin, which helps boost collagen and elastin. Skin texture and tone improves unbelievable anti-aging properties, but you got to be careful. It comes in different percentages. The higher percentage, the more your face can get red and peel because it will peel your skin a little bit. So I always use retinol products maybe twice a week at night. And you, if you wanna just start off with it, use like 0.5% and just try it like once a week and then build up your tolerance to it. But you will see a huge difference in your skin. So we've got about roughly 30 seconds. So in closing, I just wanna kind of make sure we're getting this right. So it doesn't matter if you buy at the drugstore, yep. look for the ingredients. And the ingredients you like are vitamin C, retinol, uh -huh. hyaluronic acid, peptides, ceramides, and then in the eye creams, I was gonna say caffeine. Oh. So those are the things. And drugstores are a little less potent though than the cosmeceuticals. So if you're really okay. wanting a more of a boost, go see your dermatologist and check out what you can use and purchase from them that might target a little bit better. But just to get started, those drug are, that's what fine. I need. I'm going to take this list and go to the drugstore. <laughs> Good stuff. Yay. Great stuff. Thank you so much, Michelle. Absolutely.